Okay, this video will show you how to create a row echelon form of a matrix or a reduced row echelon form of a matrix. So first of all, I've already stored it in matrix E. So it's important to know where you put your different matrices. So it's a three by four. Here are the numbers. If I scroll down, okay, you can see it's the same. Three, seven, negative 11, 44. 1, 2, negative 3, 12, 4, 9, negative 13, 53. So I'm going to exit out, exit out. So I have it in matrix E. So first of all, I'm going to go to options, and then matrix is F2. And I don't see ref in my list, so I'm going to go to F6 to scroll over more. And there it is, F4. So F4, matrix. And again, it's in alpha E, hit enter, and we get a nice looking row echelon form. Notice the diagonal of ones is zero. They're in fraction form. Again, if you want decimal form, just hit the FD key and or vice versa. If you had decimals and you want fractions, hit the FD key and it toggles back and forth. Now you can obviously see our ref is right next to it. So if we choose that, and again, choose matrix alpha E and enter. Gives us our reduced row echelon form. Nice diagonal of ones, zeros everywhere else where possible, and negative one, two, and negative three here in the constants column. Okay, so that's how you can row echelon form or reduced row echelon form on the Casio Prism.